If you go down to the woods today, you're surely in for a big surprise, and it's likely to involve some kind of creepy dolls and weird noises that may or may not be Bigfoot. Sounds like a fun one. Let's pack a picnic and scamper off for a hike into the wilderness. Just be sure to bring your trail camera and a spare pair of pants, because it's gonna get super scary out there. Here are the 20 creepiest things found in the woods. Number 20. Dollhouse Now any kind of abandoned house has a particular melancholy vibe, but one where there are toys left behind, well that makes things feel somehow even more sad. Here's a house in Ontario, Canada that's been abandoned for about a decade and a half by now. It seems as though when the inhabitants left, they literally walked away and left masses of their personal possessions behind. There's no story to who they were or what might have happened to them, but it's hard not to wonder if some sort of tragedy or something didn't happen, which led to this place being left behind. The urban explorer that found the house many years ago had discovered a lot of toys, all retro things like Barbies and Cabbage Patch dolls, a Viewmaster, an Easy Bake Oven, and a whole bunch of cool stuff. But on this return to the place, he found to his dismay that many of the things had been taken from the house, and the interior of the structure was crumbling so badly that it was causing serious damage to everything that was inside. So what do you think happened here? What can make anyone walk away from it all? Give me your thoughts in the comments section down below. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. So here we have something. What it could possibly be, well that's a total mystery to me. Is it a dragon? A demon? A gargoyle? Could it be the Jersey Devil? Maybe, just maybe, but my money is on a poorly executed Photoshop effort. What do you think though? Is this, as we are being told, a picture taken by a guy on a hike in the woods? Or is it just some general nonsense? If you happened upon this creature in the woods, do you think you'd simply stop and take its picture before strolling on home to upload it to the internet? Or do you think you'd do what most of us would do and run away screaming and probably parping yourself silly with the terror of it all? I know which one I would be, but how about you? As always, you should comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know your opinion in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. The Breathing Forest this incredible footage has been doing the rounds for a while now, and it's no wonder that people are fascinated by the bizarre and slightly unsettling film of a forest that seems to be inhaling and exhaling as if it were in possession of a set of lungs. It is hauntingly beautiful, that much is true, but is the forest actually breathing? Well, no, sorry, it is not. But you already knew that now, didn't you? You're one smart puppy. Captured in the deep, dense forest of Quebec, this footage captures the woods rising and falling as though it were breathing. But according to scientists who have studied the phenomenon, there's something else going on here. The clue to the truth is in the background of the video. There's clearly a very strong wind that's blowing across the area, and this is what's responsible for the movement of the Earth. When the ground is loose enough and the wind strong enough, it's apparently able to cause trees to sway back and forth in such a way as to pull their roots and loosen the surrounding soil. And when it does this in a particular way, it can indeed make the ground appear to be breathing. I'm sorry to spoil the magic, but it still looks awesome, doesn't it? Number 18. Screaming Sasquatch Ah, oh, save us all. A scary noise? Are we just the biggest bunch of scaredy cats that ever did exist? This is some video footage the guy apparently took in Canada. He points his phone in the general direction of the snow-covered forest and freaks out just a little bit about a noise that he can hear coming from, well, somewhere. It's a loud kind of wailing, animal sort of noise, but I don't know. It could just be a creature in pain. It could just as easily be a moose with a raging horn. Who could possibly say? Anyways, I think this is one for all of you Columbos out there to figure out. What do you think is making this sound? Is it a moose with a megaphone? 
perhaps a couple of Yetis having a punch up? Let me know all of your splendid ideas in the comments down below. Number 17. The Cambridge Ghost Mystery Trail cameras seem to have a lot to answer for. This is a really spooky image that was captured in the woods off of Route 74 in Cambridge, New York. And naturally, everyone totally freaked out and decided that the girl in the photograph had to be a specter. Because of course, people never ever go into the woods when they're alive. Not if they know what's good for them anyways. Allegedly, as the story goes, the land-owning curmudgeons to whom this piece of woodland belongs had to put up a trail camera in order to catch images of what they said were shenanigans in the area. Right then. What sort of shenanigans is a bit of a mystery, but what they did get was what appears to be an image of a child dancing in the woods. Hardly the crime of the century, but they put the picture out into the world, for some reason, to find out who she was. And when nobody rushed in to identify her, the specter speculations began. They always do, though. Even a bunch of charlatan psychics and mediums would offer their services. Gross. So for a short while, people had their fun on the old interwebs, discussing how this girl must have been a ghost, and everyone on the social media poked in their oar until some guy said that the kid was actually his granddaughter and everyone felt rather silly. Did you ever hear such of a non-story? I mean, honestly. Number 16. Tree Houses of Papa Korowai Tribe Despite being pretty isolated and living harmoniously with nature in their rainforest home, the Korowai people have hit the headlines all over the place with tabloids looking for sensational stories of wild places and weird rituals. The newspaper's dreams came true when they could point a spotlight on the unusual culture of the Korowai people, listing cannibalism and witchcraft amongst their favorite hobbies. But as is always the case with the tabloid headlines, you do have to look a little bit deeper to get the real sense of what the story might be. In a remote area of the Indonesian rainforest, the Korowai build their remarkable houses between 8 and 15 meters off the ground, sometimes in the trees or on tall stilts. The reason is said to be that evil spirits only stay around on the ground, so building up high will keep the family safe. It also offers great protection from animals and a lot of insects, as well as invading humans. They are a religious people, and their beliefs include reincarnation, as well as respect for their ancestors and a belief that some of their people even have magical abilities, and they're able to influence things like luck and also detect black magic. This element of their culture is probably where the accusations of cannibalism and witchcraft would come in, and in the past, there may have been some violent endings to disagreements within the tribe. These days, however, most issues are pretty well solved by just giving each other gifts. I guess that offering a bunch of flowers to your neighbor is a lot less dramatic than eating them, but it probably makes a lot less mess as well. So not so good for tabloid headlines, though. Number 15. Extinct Mouse Deer Back in 2019, a camera trap caught an actual ghost on film. Well, not a ghost, but up until that moment, it was not believed that this particular animal would ever be seen alive again. This is the extremely rare, although thought to be extinct, silver-backed Chevrotain. It's a weird kind of creature that's also known as a mouse deer, and it was filmed in a camera trap in the forests of Vietnam. Researchers who set the traps were stunned to discover the images of the rabbit-sized creature that had been captured as it foraged for food. There had previously been no confirmed sightings of these animals for over 30 years. They are prey for leopards and wild dogs as well as pythons, and the usual suspects, you know, people. The mouse deer had been victims of hunter's snares and had been pushed to extinction, or at least right up to the very edge of it. After this initial encounter, the researchers set the cameras up in a deliberate attempt to document the ultra-rare species, and over the course of five months, they recorded the animals in the area dozens of times. The local people had also confirmed that they too had witnessed the mouse deer in the region, but unfortunately, even though they managed to gather many images, there was no way to determine how many individual creatures they saw. Perhaps it's just two popping up for their picture to be taken, or maybe there are dozens of these once lost creatures inhabiting the depths of the Vietnamese forests. Efforts to protect the Chevrotain have included a reduction in the use of snares and a crackdown of poaching for the wildlife trait. Number 14. White Deer 
The former Seneca Army Depot in Seneca County, New York is home to the world's largest herd of white deer. These animals are unusual, but in this small contained area there are actually more than 90 of them. They are not, despite their appearance, albino, but rather they're a leucistic, which means that they have no pigmentation in their fur but do have regular brown-eyed pigmentation. The former Army Depot is now in the hands of a private owner who's decided to make the forest into a kind of nature preserve, with the main aim of preserving the white deer population by ensuring that they have sufficient food to forage and an increase in security to protect the unusual animals from poachers. The owner has apparently brought in experts to plant the correct sorts of vegetation for the deer, and the fencing has been vastly improved and an ecologist has been hired to make sure that the land is able to thrive. As well as the white deer, the land here is a haven for many other species which includes wild turkeys. Trail camera footage has captured plenty of action of a whole lot of different animals. Number 13. Zombie Deer now, it's not so much a zombie as it is a deer with a massive and no doubt fatal wound, so that's really not fun at all. Trail cameras capture more than ghost girls and yetis, you know, and they're also able to take pictures of all kinds of regular animals, even ones that appear to have suffered a terrible injury. People have looked at this image and cannot believe that the deer was still standing with such a terrible wound on its back, but it wouldn't have been able to survive. Sadly, the deer would likely have suffered an infection and would have expired. People suggested the various things that could have caused such an injury. The possibilities are that the deer was injured by barbed wire, although the wound is pretty massive for that, or perhaps it was the result of some sort of run-in with a machine, most likely a combine harvester or some other sort of farming equipment. But some people have said it could also have been some kind of hideous flesh-eating parasite. That seems a lot like a bit of silly internet chat though, doesn't it? Number 12. Stucky the Mummified Dog This is really, really sad and also super creepy, and giving the unfortunate animal such a name is <laughs> really dark indeed. A mummified dog was discovered inside the hollow of a trunk of a tree and it turned out that the pooch had been trapped inside the space for over 40 years. And that, my friend, is way longer in dog years. It seemed that the dog had chased a raccoon through the forest and into the hollow of the tree, but the canine had managed to get itself wedged inside the trunk, and as it struggled, it only became more thoroughly caught. Nobody had heard the dog as it had no doubt barked for help, and the poor creature had been entombed in the wooden casket for four decades before being discovered again. The dry environment had caused the dog's body to become mummified. It's really horrible and really, really sad. Number 11. Island of Dolls An unbelievably creepy place with a super sad story, this island is in an unpronounceable place in Mexico, bought by Don Julian Santana Barrera, this man apparently went insane, sequestered himself on the island, and then during his time there, made the sad discovery of the body of a young girl who had drowned in the lake. Shortly after that, a doll floated onto the shore. Now, this may or may not have been the event that pushed him over the edge. Some accounts would say that he was already mad before that happened, and then there are even reports that Don Julian imagined the whole thing and the obsession itself. Anyways, he then apparently set about collecting dolls and dangling them off of all the trees around the entire island. As time went on, the entire space was then transformed into a creepy and bizarre monument of broken, decaying, and damaged dolls. He never fixes them or cleans them up, they're just simply added to the collection as they're found. Although to many people the place looks horrifying and, well, frankly, pretty upsetting, Don Julian apparently believed the dolls to be beautiful protectors and felt safe amongst them. As you would expect in a story like this one, it did not end well for the tragic figure of Don Julian. He would be found drowned in the same area where he had believed the girl had died. Number 10. Abandoned Cars Most people are familiar with the concept of mislaying something or even losing it altogether. You know, your keys, your jacket, maybe even your wallet. But few of us could say that we've completely lost something as large as a vehicle, and it takes a special sort of scatterbrained individual to park their car and forget where it is, 
uh, forever. But here we are, and it's a favorite spot for Instagrammers and Pinterest picture takers. Abandoned cars in the woods. Huzzah! This guy happened upon a whole bunch of abandoned cars in the woods. These things have been here a long time, and some of them have trees growing through them because the forest is reclaiming them, but that will take a long time indeed. How come there are so many old cars that are left dumped in the woods? Well, the answer may be less creepy or sinister than it seems. According to plenty of people, farmers, apparently it was mainly farmers, would have old vehicles that broke down and they no longer need it. So they simply dragged them out into the woods with a tractor and left them there to rust and rot. It seems sound. Nothing weird about that. And I'm sure it's totally environmentally friendly as well. Number 9. Bigfoot Woohoo! Finally a video to get actually excited about. It's Bigfoot! This footage was allegedly captured by some bloke in Maine on Halloween of all nights. That changes things just the tiniest bit, don't you think? Isn't Halloween a day when people have a bit of a habit of dressing up as weird creatures and princesses and shiz like that? Is this someone in an extra convincing Halloween costume? Oh, how disappointing. It was, however, interesting enough for the Finding Bigfoot team from Animal Planet to turn up at this guy's place for a poke around, and so they put all of their Sasquatch searching stuff out and headed into the woods to make a television program whose sole purpose is stated in the title, Finding Bigfoot. So did they find him? Well, they found a blurry, faraway, bulky shape, and you know, that's good enough for anyone. Number 8. Tree Burning From Inside Trees are sometimes struck by lightning. That's just one of the occupational hazards of a boreal life, and that all standing around in thunderstorms that trees are forced to do. So usually, when a tree is struck by lightning, there are a few signs that you might be able to spot. There's often a split or a crack that may run down the tree's trunk. There may also be pieces of bark that appear to have been stripped off the tree and there may be blackened or burned areas. But this video footage shows something kind of unusual during the aftermath of a lightning strike. The clip shows a fire burning on the inside of the tree. This is a really rare and contained fire that seems to have been caused by a lightning strike the night before. Apparently, there were some photographs kicking about that people say looked really fake, so someone added some video footage to show just how the fire was actually burning. Because it would seem there is no arguing with video evidence, and there is no way that that can be faked, of course. Number 7. Disturbing Missing Posters Is this really a super scary thing found in the woods? Or perhaps it's a set of a low-budget student horror film? Who could say? Anyways, at face value, this is in fact an area deep within the woods at Long Island's Berkeley Jackson County Park with dozens of missing person posters stuck to the trees. Oh, and for good measure, there's a nasty looking blanket and a weird structure that's made of branches that are all lashed together in a distinctively spooky way. Now, if you were out roaming all alone and you happened upon this scene, it would almost certainly give you the Wiggins, so you can't blame this guy for making a swift exit and, well, totally freaking out. It does seem sensible, but his claim that it was the site of a bunch of crime stuff and that the police were currently investigating seems just a little bit out there. Just as likely that somebody else set the whole scene up to film it for an exploration video on the old YouTubes. But what do you reckon? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. Number 6. Mountain Lion Plays With Swing A man put a trail camera outside of his property in Black Hawk, Colorado in the hopes of catching bear cubs playing with a swing. Instead, a big pussycat stopped by and took a look at the plaything instead. The video captures a mountain lion as it dozes on the ground beside the swing, and then it wakes up and becomes curious. It begins by gently pushing the swing with its paws and then is startled when the swing begins to move. The big cat jumps up and then seeing no threat begins to play with the swing, watching it sway back and forth and playing with it as though she were a kitten. However, she's not. She's still a big scary mountain lion and she would rip your throat out in a heartbeat. And you should not forget that, even if she does look kind of cute playing with the swing. Number 5. 36 Feet Long Humpback Whale 
A dead 10-ton humpback whale would be found about 15 meters away from the shore of a beach. So you know that it wasn't as if it had sort of flown into the rainforest and then landed there dead. But anyways, according to scientists who know about such things, this is still a weird place for a whale to be, especially at that particular time of year. The plot does thicken. The massive mammal carcass was discovered in some undergrowth at the mouth of the Amazon River, but it's believed that it most probably died while way out at sea and then was gradually washed up in this spot by the tides. It's not exactly rocket science, but then again, pretty much anything that happens anywhere can end up on the internet famed as a news story, now can't it? So, as far as anyone can say, this is a strange place for a whale to be, but a dead whale can probably rock up wherever the waters take it. And that is that, really. Mystery solved. Number 4. The Mystery of the Crooked Forest There's a grove of oddly shaped pine trees in this forest near the town of Grafino in Pomerania in Poland. They're all bent towards their base in a bizarre contortion, but it is just this group of trees in this particular part of forest. So what might cause something like this? Well, strangely enough, there's not a certain answer, but there are, naturally, plenty of theories. One idea would suggest that the trees were all buried under a lot of really heavy snow when they were still small. It seems like a relatively sensible idea. It definitely gets chilly in this part of the world, and snow can do some serious damage. But that theory is not really sufficient for some. Another explanation, which is decidedly more woo-woo, is that the area has an extra strong gravitational pull. It seems a bit daft, though, unless everything else in the area were warped, and people passing through there felt their legs become extra heavy or something. Or the final suggestion is that when the foresters planted the trees back in the 1920s, they shaped them like this on purpose, those scallywags. Number 3. Huge Flower the plant that produces the largest individual flower on the whole of planet Earth is called the giant padma, but it also goes by a gross-sounding pseudonym, the corpse flower. It turns out that this is because this particular flower is extremely smelly. Well, worse than smelly, it actually stinks like a rotting corpse. How lovely! Although disgusting, this is actually a clever adaptation that is shared by several flowers of its sort. The stink attracts plenty of flies, and these insects will help to pollinate the flowers, and then they ensure that they can reproduce. It is gross, but it's also extremely effective. So much so, in fact, that these flowers are the largest in the world, and they measure up to about 3.3 feet in diameter, weighing anywhere as much as 24 pounds. Hence the common name of the corpse flower. It smells... Even though these flowers are weirdly popular on account of their size, no doubt, rather than their fragrance, it seems that the corpse flower is in a spot of difficulty. There are 42 known species of the plant, and almost all of them are at risk of going extinct. Mostly, this is the result of habitat loss that seems to be the case and cause of many species of plants and animals that are threatened status. The expansion of human activity into natural environments has destroyed large areas of natural habitats of everything, and there's an increased awareness that this plant needs conservation efforts if it's going to survive in its native Asian tropic region. Number 2. Bear Takes Selfies and now, finally, we've reached the absolute best part of all of today's things that have been found in the woods. This is the ridiculously cute story of a bear in Colorado that posed for a couple of selfies one night. The trail cameras that are set up along the trails of Boulder, Colorado, regularly capture images of black bears' behinds or much more boring things. But one night back in January of 2023, a bear found one of the trail cameras and spent an evening taking selfies, presumably looking for the best one to upload to the gram. Of the 580 images captured by the trail camera that night, the bear featured in more than 400 of them. That is some Kardashian-level selfie numbers. Number 1. Anchor Lost City this area in Cambodia is part of the Angkor Temple complex that draws about a bazillion visitors every year. This one is a quieter and less impressive sort of experience, but still a place that's worth a look and apparently is simply oozing mystery. 
And who doesn't enjoy a good mystery alongside your ancient, rumbling architecture? This temple, although clearly there, is not mentioned in any of the texts that are related to the empire that once existed in the area. This means that nobody knows when it was built, by whom, or indeed what the heck it was even for. Where some of the other structures nearby are still in relatively good shape, this one is basically knackered, all of its sculptures are gone and not much remains, except a crumbling ruin being reclaimed by a rainforest and a big old question mark over everything about it. Anyways, if you enjoy literal piles of bricks with mysterious undertones, then this is the dream destination for you. If, however, you require answers and actual structures, well, then perhaps go look at the more famous ones that are nearby instead. Well, that's all from the creepy old woods for today. Which of these scary things will haunt your nightmares the most? And which was actually way cuter than you ever expected? Go ahead and let me know all of your splendid thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, be sure to check out all the other cool things that are showing up on the screen. And I will see you next time.